We've got an ATI fan that can't get through on the live chat. Have any of these guys ever considered using the straight truck five pack set up by Cottrell? Five pack. You guys seen the five pack? Huh. I have. In my opinion, the five pack is just about like what Chris is running. It, except it's a straight truck. You know, it's a stinger, but it's extended with a five pack. So on the bottom, you can only get two smaller cars on the back. Um, you know, and if you Google them, it'll pop right up. But it's just a five car hauler with a trailer. Uh, I knew that's where he was going. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's me, just, man. it just limits you, in my opinion. So let's go see this thing. What, Cottrell? Cottrell 5 pack. Okay, just remember, this is a question from an ATI fan, okay? Okay. So the question is, is have you guys ever considered the 5 pack? I've looked at them, but if you see, it just, in my opinion, it really limits you. Okay. Yeah, no. And in my opinion as well, it's a pretty long straight truck to be trying to maneuver, you know, in tight spots if you're delivering individuals and neighborhoods and things like that. I think that's a pretty long straight truck to try to maneuver like that surrounding your roads that you're on. Right. Uh, and and it, yeah. I don't, I can't see the full height, but I would think that you're going to have the same issue like with the Kaufman 5 car is getting a bunch of Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Go back down. Please. Empty weight, 25 to 26,000. That's a heavy truck. Shit, yeah. Wow. And it's 40 feet long. Yeah, there's... I, I mean, I guess if you're... Truck. Yeah, if, if you're running, uh, like, shuttle stuff, it'd be good, but, like, auction back and forth, but... um. Yeah, I mean you know, that's the only thing I see with it. I just, I, I just, I just see it being a problem in maneuvering in tight spots and neighborhoods and individual customers. Well, the bigger problem I see is I ain't nowhere to sleep because <laughs> I'm always <laughs> over the road. <laughs> just uh, get a mattress on the head rack. <laughs> well, what am I going to do with this guy back here? Um. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what about the dog? Where's the dog going to go? Um, yeah. There's a brochure here in case anyone's interested. By the way, um, Mark has a question for Chris. Uh, how's the Take 3 right now? Any problems or just regular maintenance? Um, the Take 3, the only issue that I've had with it, uh, to be completely honest, is uh, you know changing out the, uh, the grease caps on the bearings. I had a video on doing that. Um, I guess that's a, that's a normal thing. That's a maintenance thing. Uh, I've already had to replace four of them, and I've only put probably... 20,000 to 25,000 miles on it. So I, I feel like that's pretty quick, but you know, I don't know. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm still learning the trailer. I'm still feeling it out. And uh, like I said, I'm just ha having to carry those with me just in case I end up cracking one on the road. Um, had an issue with the lighting. Uh, my running lights went flickering on me, but those guys are awesome over there about their warranty. And so, uh, you know, just contact salesman Joe over there and he's quick to get me in there and get me knocked out within a day and get me right back on the road. Uh, but yeah, other than that, man, it's been great, man. The tires are wearing good. Like there's no uh, uneven wear on the tires. I mean, uh, as far as the fabrication of the trailer goes, it seems like everything's lined up really well. Um, it's been a great trailer so far, man. It's been beneficial for me. So, um, hopefully it stays that way. What size axles you got, Chris? Uh, those are three, uh, 10 K axles. So that's, uh, yeah, 30, 30,000 GVWR on the trailer itself. Right. And fully fully loaded on that thing, man. Uh, I think fully loaded. Those those three axles have never seen anywhere near thirty thousand, man. To be honest with you, I mean they're probably. Oh, sure, that's a lot of that's a lot of cars. Yeah, it, you're looking at probably. I've, I've topped out maybe at twenty three thousand. I think twenty four thousand on those axles. So uh, it's 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 good, man. It'll hold the weight, and as long as you keep it less than twelve five on your on your ass in or your uh, your rear axle, and you're good to go. Hey, but you know what I did see is Ford this next year is coming out with an F600, and it's going to be a, a, in a dually style, just like the 550 is. The F600 is going to have a 22,500-pound GVWR on it. 
So I'm Lord looking for have... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty awesome, man. So that way you will definitely not have to worry about being overweight, hauling five cars or even be comfortable probably pulling a seven car trail. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it'll hold a seven car trail, but it might be pushing it. We got another question here. Uh Leyland is talking about a Kaufman E Z four. What's your opinion on that one? Personally? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're not built as tough as a Take 3. I mean, they're affordable. Uh, Kaufman makes a, a pretty affordable trailer. Um, there's just a lot of things on it that are probably you're, you're probably going to have to maintain. I mean, it's got the mesh floors on it. I really, I'm really not a fan of the mesh floors. Um, the hydraulic cylinders are really short on them. Um, I, think, uh, I think they got – I'm not sure about the axles on those. Um, I want to say they're either nine or 10,000-pound axles, the same that's on mine, if I'm not mistaken. No, 25,000 pounds GVWR. 8,000 pound axles. Okay, so yeah, there you go. It's got lighter axles on it. Um, the clearance in the belly is very minimal. You're going to be lucky to get away with, with parking full size vehicles and uh, full size cars, rather. Yeah, in the that belly. belly. Yeah, that belly's tight. Yeah, no SUVs, man. I, I had to help a guy at the yard not too long ago at the rail yard uh, load up an Equinox on his Kaufman Mini, uh, Mini, Mini, Mini 5. Mini 5. Yeah. Yeah, we had to let all the air out of the tires, yeah. and it barely made it in there, man. So yeah. it was just a, it was just a headache. You hear a lot of letting air out of the tires on those bellies. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's an affordable trailer for somebody just getting into it. Right. I mean, you know, it might be a good way to go, but you got to be careful on what you're picking up. You really got to plan ahead on what you're picking up and, uh, you know, things like that. But uh, if you got a little bit extra to play with, I'd, I'd recommend going with the – if you're going for a five car, I'd recommend going with the um, – Take three, of course. Cause... Sun Country five car. What's that? Sun Country. <laughs> there it is, man. Well, that's why I was going to say it earlier, but, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and let the, uh, I you am know, in love with that let trailer, the wheel man. spin. Is that right? Did... Oh, my God. I'm in love with that trailer. That's the Sun Country five car. Oh, yeah. That is. That's. No, that's a, that's a tough trailer. Wedge. Yeah, and that's the ultimate wedge. Uh, you know, you can do anything with that trailer and yeah. run it like a wet. Like, I just, I like the fact that I don't have anything above me. Now, and I'm going to let this out. I'm supposed to be running a Mini 5. Next week, I'm supposed to pick it up. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, and I don't know if I'm going to like it. But, I, um, no, we'll see. So, but uh, I, I just, I, I love my... I love the wedge, but and right. now that I went to a fifth wheel, night and day difference, you know, so that fifth wheel made a big difference. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, man. I got a lot of people asking me all the time, what do you prefer, gooseneck or fifth wheel? I'm like, man, that's a no-brainer, man. <laughs> right. I oh, mean, wow, you got to. Yeah, for sure. You're, you're, I mean, either, you're either on a stick or you're on a platform. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's it. But what I've seen... noticed with my fifth wheel though is i have a um the dual pivot i'll never do that again i, really? I don't like the the whole side to side thing right because if right. you really watch it it moves just as much as the goose the you just don't feel it you know right, what i mean right, because it right. absorbs it so i'd rather it be more stationary but yeah uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm running a uh, i'm running a holland fifth wheel the smaller one 30000 yeah, 30, holland about, and it's right. it's it's fixed and it's simple and less moving parts and it's solid, man. It's a solid fit. Did you man. get Did you get it from Hitchcrafters? No, I actually had a Take Three. Take Three had it and they they installed it for me oh, whenever God. they sold the trailer. I got gotcha. you. So, but yeah, it's solid, man. And compared to the gooseneck that I started out with, man, <laughs> it's like <laughs> night and day, man. <laughs> yeah. 